here we've got some kind of, they decided to make this place look a little more real. It was just a trail before, uh-oh. What are they gonna do to us now? Um, this is kind of funny. It's like a little invitation to boat, um, for a boating out on the water concert. And it just, it kind of made me giggle. I'm sure it has nothing to do with anything like that. But um, for the past um, couple weeks, I've been watching a little bit of Netflix for the first time in my life. I got it for Wormwood and um, Baby Reindeer because I'm working on a, on a script idea right now. And I wanted to time um, things. Um, you know, there's a lot less dialogue, right, in stuff than we think sometimes. I've been working with an agent who's always saying, you know, I need more dialogue. And um, when I watch these things, it's like, you know, just hours of you know people just, you know, opening their coffee or taking a shower or driving around. It's funny just how much kind of ambient, um, you know, some people might call it filler. I don't. Uh, if it's done really well, um, should I let him go? Oh God, I shouldn't have done that. There might be someone down there and he might be going to do something evil. But in it, there's, there's like a thing like that, but where people boat to go to a church. Like, and I thought it was just because it was nice days, but I guess I don't have one. But um, it turns out it's like, it's like the best way to... Um, you know, to do like illegal things, right, to traffic when you're like out on the water. Doc and I saw a few things out here. We used to come in the morning and stay the entire day when I <laughs> had like a baby. This is a great place to bring a baby. There's a lot of shade and sun, both. Um, it was just a fun time in life, but we would see just the weirdest things out on the water that you don't see when you just sort of come down, you know, with the dog and walk up and down the little stripe of beach. But when you're just sitting for hours, you know, watching, it's just wild how, how much kind of unfolds, um, with animals too, you know, we see eagles and, and even owls, um, just all kinds of things, fox, um, but we would see really strange stuff. We, I remember, I think my, 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 I'll call it most dramatic or whatever, was a seaplane that landed and there were very noisy jet skis, um, coming all around it. It, it was very cinematic and it, it came from the north. The plane came from the north and this was when marijuana was still illegal. I don't know if it was like a marijuana thing. I mean, there's enough marijuana that grows around here. I don't think you'd have to do like a marijuana dump. But anyway, that plane made a dump. These um, jet skis are circling it. So, of course, obviously, like you think, oh, the jet, the jet skis have got the stuff from the dump. Well, they disappeared at some point, And we saw over by where the, um, where the plane had been... <laughs> was a kayak, a very slow kayak. And it's so funny, I saw a film recently where there was something like that, where you've got all the fast stuff and the loud stuff and the distracting stuff. And then it's, you know, it's the old guy in the walker or something, right, that grabs the bag of money. So I sure wish I would have, I sure wish I would have filmed that. That would have been very, very lovely indeed. Will I ever catch him? I've got to go. I've got to go stand on his little rope. See, he's not trustworthy. He's not trustworthy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you, little guy. But um, if you never know who's down here. And he does have a bit of a little protective air about him. Here we are into the, into the magic of the beach, which not too many do come down to. So we are quite fortunate for that in some regards, although we miss some of the old standby that would come down and it is nice to meet the good ones. The other day I was like crying because I missed Otis and Otis, I think Otis passed away. Um, but Otis 
was Doc had told me Otis had been like a professional surfer or something like back in the early 60s and Otis had a really great spot down here and would come and spend a lot of time here in the summer just being kind of a wonderful soul. Everyone sort of had their little spot and I'll just never forget coming down one day. It was like a hundred and five degrees and Otis was just laying laying <laughs> laying just outstretched um in one of these creek creek beds you know it was like forget the sand i'm just i'm just gonna lay in the creek and it was quite dear this is sort of a fun site we've got our little friends here and they're at the buffet much love